For this next section, we will be demonstrating the InVision protocol. The InVision protocol is on the system and you will see that there are three tests to choose, perception time, gaze stabilization, and dynamic visual acuity. Perception time must be done on the same day as dynamic visual acuity and gaze stabilization. I prefer doing dynamic visual acuity before gaze stabilization because I think it's an easier test for both the patient and the operator. It gives the patient an, uh, an opportunity to get used to the head movement and it also gives the operator an idea of what speed of head movement might be appropriate for the patient during the gaze stability test. As I click on continue, I will see that I've got the monitor cue indicating to me that the, moni the monitor currently is set at six feet. I've measured the distance that Mary is sitting from the monitor and it's five feet. So I'm going to change my setting to five feet and save it and click on continue. When we start the InVision protocol, we're going to start with dynamic visual acuity. In order to be sure that my patient has a good visual reference for the screen, I'm going to pull the monitor down as close as possible to my patient's eye level and make sure that she is square with the monitor. Can you see this okay, Mary? Yes, I can. Great. And we're going to start with static visual acuity. What you see first is an attentional cue for the patient. Mary, I want you to keep your eyes on the circle an E is going to appear. When you see the E, I want you to tell me whether the legs are pointing up, down, right, or left, and I do not want you to guess. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Down. Now Mary said down. I have a choice on my mouse button. I can push the down arrow. On the keyboard, I can push the down arrow as well. So she said down. You'll notice that the test will not advance until I put her answer into the system. Down at the bottom here, you can see that the optotype was presented at 0.3 logmar. That's three lines larger than 2020. Ready, Mary? Yes. Right. I'm going to put right. I don't know. If you don't know, you want to push the space bar, or on the mouse, you can push the space bar as well. It's important that the computer knows that Mary did not know the answer. She could not see that optotype. It was too small. If the operator isn't careful, the operator might look at the optotype and accidentally put in the correct answer. That would negate the test. So be sure when you're running the test that you only put in the answers that the patient is giving. So I'm going to hit space bar. Down. Down. Right. Right. I don't know. She doesn't know. Space bar. Right. Right. I don't know. Space bar. Left. Left. Up. Up. Down. Down. Great. And now our static visual acuity is collected. Um, what you can see here is that her static acuity score in Logmar is 0, 0.00 or 2020 vision. Now this is not a calibrated exam that you would get in an optometrist's office. So sometimes I'll say to my patient, okay, you scored 0, 0.0 Logmar 2020. And the patient might say, well, my optometrist says my vision isn't 2020. That's okay. This is a baseline. What we really want to know is how Mary's acuity changes when we add head movement. The next section of the test is the perception time test. You can see perception is highlighted. When I click on start, Mary will get another attentional cue. And what you'll see is this one is much smaller. Mary, there are going to be E's that appear on the screen, but they're going to disappear really quickly. So you're going to have to pay very close attention to that square. Again, I want you to tell me whether the legs of the E go up, down, right, or left. Okay. Ready? Yes. Left. And you can see here that the, that the task level is 250 milliseconds. That means the E was on the screen for 250 milliseconds. Up. 
and now we're down to 150 milliseconds, and we will continue to get faster and faster until we reach the end of the test. Left. Left. Down. Down. Right. Right, and you can see that was 20 milliseconds. That's the fastest that the computer can refresh the screen to take the optotype on and off. Up. Up. Left. Left. Right. Right. Up. Up. And Mary's perception time is 20 milliseconds. Anything between 20 and 50 is normal. If she had scored 60 or above, we would have gone back and repeated the test immediately. I do want to close the perception time test, so I'll click on yes. I could enter a comment here if Mary had a headache or felt visually fatigued. Now we're going to initialize the head tracker so that we can move on to testing Mary's visual acuity with the addition of head movement. Okay, I can test Mary in horizontal, vertical, or roll. My settings are still five feet away, and you'll see that the default for horizontal is 85 degrees per second. You can adjust this if you're working with a very high level population of athletes, you can increase this to 100 degrees per second. Now we are going to practice the dynamic visual acuity test. So first, I'm going to put on the head tracker. In your clinic, you probably use a, um, a, a cover for the head trackers for making sure that in between patients, the patient is getting a clean head tracker. We're going to stick with the practice screen, and I'm going to click on Start. And I'm going to tell Mary that, Mary, while we're doing the dynamic visual acuity, I want you to turn your head while you're looking at the screen. And it's a little bit tricky, so we're going to practice first, OK? OK. All right, so this is our practice. We're going to practice the head movement. And the purple dot is showing Mary's head position. Now, Mary, what I'd like you to do is turn your head to the right until the dot hits the twin. Good, perfect. And to the left, that's the amplitude. Is that a comfortable head movement for you? Yes. Great. Now at the bottom here, you see this gray bar moving back and forth? I'd like you to move your head a little bit more quickly so that bar turns green. Perfect. Stop. Now Mary is a very good patient. She understands the amplitude. She understands the speed. We're going to now practice the dynamic visual acuity piece of practice. I want to practice DVA. Now, Mary, when I click on this, don't turn your head quite yet, OK? Hold it steady. So Mary, now you see that there's a circle on the screen. When you start turning your head and you get it up to the appropriate speed, an E is going to appear in that circle. So you're going to have to keep your head moving and look for the E at the same time and tell me whether the legs are going up, down, right, or left. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Up. Great. Now, what you'll see here is this bar is red. What that means is that Mary was moving her head too quickly. She was moving it beyond that 85 to 120 degree threshold. Um, so we want to make sure that she understands a little bit slower next time. Okay, Mary? A little bit slower. Left. Wow, and that was perfect. You see that the bar is now green. She understands the head movement. She understands the task. I am going to exit practice mode. It's really important that you, that you see here on the side of the screen, it says practice mode. Um, if you forget that you're in practice mode, you can spend a lot of time here and be very frustrated by the end of that time. So do you want to continue practice? No, I actually want to do dynamic visual acuity. Mary, we're going to start the test now, okay. okay? When you start turning your head, that optotype will appear. Down. Great. Now I want you to stop your head moving between each trial because I don't want Mary to get dizzy or uncomfortable during the test. She said down. Left. Left. Down. Down. Right. Right. Now you can see here she was a little fast. That one was um, 145 degrees. You can slow down just a hair. And you can see that she's now at 
one log marsh. She's one line bigger than her static visual acuity of 2020 or 0, 0.0 log mar. You ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Space bar for I don't know. I don't know. Space bar for I don't know. Right. Great. Now, what I'm going to do is take a little break with you, Mary, and make sure you're okay. It's important to check in with your patient, make sure she's not feeling dizzy or sick. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Good. Thank you. Sometimes what you'll notice when you're working with the head tracker is the little purple ball might get off center for a trial or two. Don't worry about that. The tracker will recalibrate itself as you go. So just keep working and the cal the, that purple dot will end up back in the middle of the screen probably on your next trial. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Left. Left. I don't know. She doesn't know. Space bar. Left. Left. I don't know. Space bar for I don't know. I don't know. And you'll notice that I'm not looking at the answers. I only care about what Mary tells me, but what I do care about is these last couple she didn't get right and they're red. She could be moving a little bit too quickly. So I'm going to say, Mary, slow your head down just a little bit. I don't want to have any false positive results where she got the answer wrong because she was just moving too quickly. Okay, you ready? Ready. Here we go. Right. Right. Up. Up. Down. Down. I don't know. Space bar. Right. Right, and you're green, so you're doing great. Your velocity is spot on, Mary. Don't know. Don't know, space bar. Great. Now we're done with dynamic visual acuity and what we see here is our DVA loss graph which tells us that when she sweeps her head to the left she lost one line or 0.1 logmar. When she sweeps to the right she lost 0.03 or a third of a line and so those results are normal. She, anything a 0.2 logmar or less loss or a two line or less loss is normal. Do I want to close this test? Yes, I could put in comments. And now we are going to the gaze stabilization test. Again, I'm at five feet. I'm going to test her in the horizontal. And we are going to practice because this test, as Mary goes through the test, the computer is going to demand either a faster or slower head speed. And it's going to take her a little bit of time to understand that. So we're going to practice. We're just going to practice the head movement first. Now, Mary, when we first get into practice, you can see that our, our setting for practice is at 70 degrees per second. I can adjust that faster, up to 110. I can adjust it slower. We've just been doing 85 to 120, so she should be pretty comfortable at this speed. Okay, we'll practice once. You ready, Mary? Ready. Okay, go ahead and start your head moving. Look for the E. Oh, great, actually stop. So the E's not appearing because I just was having her in the head movement practice. We're gonna escape out of this and we're gonna go to practice again. And this time we're gonna practice the GST. So Mary, the computer is going to change speeds. The speed's either gonna get faster or slower. I'll try to cue you on whether it's faster or slower, okay? We're about, we're gonna practice a little bit of the GST, the full test. Okay. We're about the same speed where we were for DVA. Do you remember what that speed was? Yes. Okay, so go ahead and start. Up. Great. Now we're gonna go a little faster this time. Left. Good, okay, do you understand? We're gonna be adjusting our speed, great. I'm gonna get out of practice. I don't want to continue practice. I'd like to do the GST. So Mary, just try to listen for my cues. I'll try to give you faster or slower. Um, as we go through. Okay. All right? All right. Go ahead and start. We're about the same speed as DVA. Down. Down. Good. And you're, you were a little fast, but that's okay. Um, that's all right. 
you're going to be a little faster this time, okay? A little faster than the last one. I don't know. She doesn't know. Space bar. Your speed was great, but this one's going to be a little slower. You ready? Up. Good for you. A little faster now. Now we got an error message that says low velocity detected. This is a good error message to get for a demonstration because it's important for you to know that patients cannot cheat during this test like they can in the clinic. If the patient doesn't move their head quickly enough, an error message is gonna show up. So Mary, you just were a little bit slow that time, okay? All right. Okay, about the same as the first test we did. Left. Left. Good. It's going to be a little faster this time. Good. Up. Good. That was, that was good. Your speed was a little too fast, but not bad. About the same speed for next time. Down. Down. Good. A little too slow. Sorry, I didn't give you a cue that time. Okay, a little faster. Don't know. And the other thing I'm noticing, Mary, is your, your movement is a little small. It's gotten a little constricted, so make sure you're getting that full 20 degrees, okay? All right, you ready? That was a don't know, so I'm going to do space bar. This one will be a little slower. A little slower and full amplitude. Down. Down. Up. Good. Up a little faster this time. I don't know. Don't know. Space bar. Your velocity was perfect. A little slower this time. Right. Right. Good. A little faster this time. Don't know. Don't know. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to pay attention to whether she gets the answer right or wrong. Because if she gets it right, the computer's going to ask for faster head speed. If she gets it wrong, the computer's going to ask for slower head speed. Okay, you ready? This one's going to be a little slower. Up. Up. Down. Down. Good. This one's going to be a little faster. Are you ready? Do you need a break? No, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. Here we go. Don't know. Don't know. Space bar. Down. Down. This one's going to be a little faster. Right. Right. This one's a little up. It's about the same. A little bit faster. Left. Good. Left. And we are done with gaze stability test. So what we see here is when Mary turns her head to the left, she can see clearly to 103 degrees per second of head speed. When she turns her head to the right, she can see to 113 degrees per second of head speed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into VOR training, and our GST results are going to be our starting point for our VOR training.